Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this evening's very important update on the ongoing dangerous severe weather across the plains. So the Storm Prediction Center is maintaining a moderate risk of severe weather across southwestern Kansas, through the northeastern Texas Panhandle, across Oklahoma from northwest to southeast in the red, and the moderate risk has now been expanded to include far north Texas, including Wichita Falls. We have an enhanced risk extending from southwest Kansas through north central Texas from Garden City to Dallas, a slight risk from the southwestern half of Kansas through central Texas extending across the deep south, a marginal risk in the dark green covering much of the southeast through eastern Colorado, as well as portions of Ohio, Michigan, and eastern Indiana. Looking at the latest tornado probabilities from the Storm Prediction Center, the Storm Prediction Center has actually expanded the 10% tornado risk to include almost all southwestern Oklahoma down towards Fort Sill and maintaining the 10% tornado risk in Woodward, Oklahoma, a 5% tornado risk in Garden City, Liberal, Kansas, Oklahoma City, Norman Moore, Oklahoma, Wichita Falls, and now 5% tornado risk has been expanded into the Dallas-Fort Worth area and we have a 5% chance tornadoes ongoing across southern Mississippi, Alabama, into the western central Florida panhandle and far southwest Georgia, and a 2% tornado risk from northwest Kansas through central Texas, through southwest Arkansas, northern Louisiana, southern Mississippi, southern Alabama, southern Georgia, and north central Florida in the green. So uh, this event is only getting started, so make sure you're preparing now for several tornadoes as we already have had several tornadoes across south central Oklahoma, north central Texas. Looking at the damaging wind threat, the latest damaging wind threat, still at a 45% chance of damaging straight line winds of 58 miles per hour stronger than 25 miles of a location across southwest Tex or Kansas, through western, through central to south central Oklahoma, now into far northern Texas, Woodward, Oklahoma, Oklahoma City, Norman, Moore, Fort Sill, and Wichita Falls are in the 45% damaging wind risk, 30% for Garden City, Liberal, Kansas, down to Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, 15% uh, damaging wind risk from Northwest Kansas through Central Texas across the Deep South, and a 5% damaging wind risk in the brown areas this evening, very large black hatched area, anywhere in this black hatched area, you're going to you could see winds of over 75 miles per hour. And um, let me tell you right now, if you live anywhere in this red and pink area, you need, be, you need to be preparing now for widespread damaging winds between 70 and 90 miles per hour, as it is looking like a derecho is going to happen at this point. And we're already seeing the beginning stages of a derecho across western Kansas, northwest Oklahoma, and the Texas Panhandle. You're in Woodward, Oklahoma City, Norman Moore, Fort Sill, Wichita Falls, down to Dallas. You need to be preparing now for extremely dangerous wind gusts. And unfortunately, this, these extremely dangerous wind gusts are likely going to be combined with extremely large hail. We have a 45% chance of quarter size hail or larger within 25 miles of a location across western Oklahoma and now into far northern Texas, Woodward, Fort Sill, Wichita Falls. 45% hail risk, 30% hail risk from Garden City through Oklahoma City through Dallas-Fort Worth, 15% from north and northern Kansas all the way through uh, northern Florida, 5% hail risk in the brown, and the two hatched areas, my goodness, we could be seeing hail of over 2 inches in diameter or larger, but that is the least of my concern as anywhere from Dallas through Wichita Falls, Fort Sill, Oklahoma City metro area, Woodward, you are likely going to be seeing uh, several hail reports of golf ball, baseball, softball, tennis ball size, even grapefruit size. The Storm Prediction Center, or the National Weather Service, has actually called for the possibility of DVD size hail this evening across central western Oklahoma, north central Texas. That's almost five inches in diameter. You need to be taking this hail threat very, very seriously across central western Oklahoma, north central Texas. We've already seen reports of teacup size hail and softball size hail. Around Ardmore, Oklahoma, we had teacup size hail this evening. 
and this is only going to continue as the evening progresses. So if any severe thunderstorm warnings are issued from Woodward to the Oklahoma City Metro to Fort Sill down to North Texas, you need to treat this as if it's a tornado warning and seek shelter in an interior or basement until the storms pass because these kinds of wind driving this large hail is going to be deadly and very dangerous and destructive to life and property. Uh, please uh, prepare now for all this. And looking at the current radar, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we are seeing the beginning stages of our derecho. We have a line of damaging winds, wind storms from Dodge City through north of Woodward and in the eastern Texas Panhandle. This has already produced several tornadoes. We saw, we've seen a very bad damage across Perryton, Texas, from a big tornado earlier this evening and we have a we have a conglomerate or a pair of very destructive supercells moving across southern Oklahoma producing giant hail of baseball size and have been producing several tornadoes we saw a tornado south of Lawton a tornado south of Duncan and these storms are continuing to produce tornadoes as they move toward Ardmore if you're in Ar Ardmore, Oklahoma, and watching this video, please seek shelter now as these storms are moving your way. They're producing baseball-sized hail and tornadoes and winds of 70 miles per hour. Another severe storm west of Wichita Falls. Uh, and we've even, we've even had some severe storms all the way down in central Texas. We've seen some uh, very large hail and even a tornado warning northwest of Austin in the hill country. Can't stress enough how dangerous of a situation this evening is. And timing out the storms through the rest of the evening, as we go into uh, 7 o'clock, our derecho is going to move across northwest Oklahoma, south, south central Kansas. And this uh, rogue supercell is going to continue to create a either a long track violent tornado or on and off long track tornadoes. So anywhere across southern Oklahoma, you need to be watching out for the supercell through 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. The mall wants to dissipate the supercell, but replace it with the main complex where we're going to be seeing these 70, 80 mile per hour winds and hail of golf ball all the way up to tennis ball, baseball, softball size by 9 p.m. going to 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a giant hailstorm could be moving uh, south of Oklahoma City and the damp, very strong winds as well going into 11 p.m. South Central Oklahoma uh, and Oklahoma City going to be getting in on that uh, derecho. 70 to 90 mile per hour winds are going to be likely with this. And as we go into 11 o'clock midnight, uh, the storms are going to push southeast Oklahoma, north Texas. Very damaging winds, very large hail going into 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. The storms are going to push into southwest Arkansas, producing a very damaging winds and large hail going into 3 a.m. even. This is the middle of the night, 3 to 4 a.m. Texarkana, down towards Shreveport, Little Rock, you could be getting destructive winds going into 5 and 6 a.m. Southeast Arkansas, northern Louisiana, western central Mississippi. By tomorrow morning, these storms are still going strong, even across central Mississippi by 7 o'clock a.m. So, and even 8, 9 o'clock, and 10 o'clock in the southern Mississippi. Um, so, you need to really be watching out for these storms, even across uh, the Arklatex and Mississippi through the overnight hours into tomorrow morning as very strong damaging winds are going to be a large concern with this uh, derecho complex. So if you live anywhere across uh, southwest Kansas, central western, even southeast Oklahoma, into north Texas, in Dallas, Wichita Falls, Fort Sill, Oklahoma City metro area, Woodward, you need to be uh, battening down the hatches and preparing for destructive severe weather this evening with hail up to uh, softball the DVD size 
and winds between 70 and 90 miles per hour. And unfortunately, we've seen an overperformance in tornadoes, so make sure you're also watching out for tornadoes in your area. Thanks for watching this evening's severe weather update. Please stay safe. Have a wonderful evening, my friends.